Why hello there friends, it's Emma here, the Bookish Princess. Today we're gonna to be talking more Animal Crossing pocket camp tips. I've done a couple other pocket camp tips videos and you've probably heard me mention in those videos, don't spend your leaf tickets on that or make sure you save up your leaf tickets so you have enough when you need them. There are lots of different currencies as it were in pocket camp. There are bells and different materials and essences that you need to collect in order to craft items, but leaf tickets are the most premium currency. They're the hardest to come by and they also form the backbone of the game's in-app purchases because pocket camp is free to download and play, but of course Nintendo wants to make some money so they do let you buy leaf tickets with real money. Now, you don't have to buy leaf tickets with real money. There are four main ways that you can collect leaf tickets for free just through the normal course of gameplay, and that's what we're gonna dive into today. So our four main ways of collecting leaf tickets for free are leveling your character up, completing all the goals, using leaf ticket maps in Blather's treasure truck, and leveling up in the happy homeroom classes. I would say you get a pretty decent number of leaf tickets just by doing these things. Obviously, Nintendo wants you to spend as many leaf tickets as possible, and, and they let you spend them in about a million different ways. Like you can use leaf tickets to speed a task up, or you could use leaf tickets, like if you don't have enough materials, you could use leaf tickets to craft something so that you don't have to collect the materials, or there are certain items that you can only get with leaf tickets. So things like this beach backdrop that I have at my um, at my campsite right now. How beautiful is this? Oh my gosh. Audie is enjoying a nice summery cup of pink lemonade. My octopus is loving the kayak. But yes, this beach scene is something that I got with leaf tickets and the sailboats and the lighthouse back here. That also is something that you're gonna get with leaf tickets. So I would say save up your leaf tickets and don't spend them to like speed stuff up or like craft something that you could craft by collecting normal items. Like save them up and, and spend them on the things that like you can't get in any other way. I do have to say if you're like a completionist and you like to get every single item in a game, Pocket Camp is not the game for you. Nintendo is constantly releasing items that you can only get with leaf tickets and you would have to spend a fortune if you wanted to get all of them. Like you don't need all of them. There are enough cute things that you get just normally or enough cute things that you can craft with the leaf tickets that you get for free that like you don't need to pay money to enjoy this game. The first thing that you'll see when you log into the game every day is the login bonus screen. Most weeks it's the same. You get about nine leaf tickets if you log in every day. But these uh, bonuses do change. So when New Horizons came out, they had some really fun goals. And every year in October, November, that's the game's anniversary, they usually have some amazing bonuses that you get just for logging in. So the first way to get leaf tickets is just by leveling your character up. You can find your character's level on the upper left hand corner of the screen. I'm getting close to the 200 club. I've been playing this game since it came out in 2017. So, so that definitely did not happen overnight. That is the slow progress of three years of playing and enjoying the game. Your character's level is directly tied to the animal villagers character levels. So how do you meet the characters? When we look at the map, we'll see that each of the four different main locations has a character there. I think this is Tammy on Sunburst Island. We have, oh, who is this? We have Raymond at Breezy Hollow amongst the fruit trees. These characters switch out, I think about every three hours, and you can go to those places, you can talk to them, you can fulfill their requests. One quick way to fulfill their requests is to use Pete's parcel service. So Raymond wants some fish, I can send him some fish, and you can see his level 11 is gonna jump up just a little bit. He also gave me some bells, some materials. Now he wants a flower, we can get him the flower. Yeah, so every three hours you'll have three opportunities to fulfill requests for each of the characters at the different sites. And Raymond, we're slowly kind of leveling him up. You can fulfill the requests through Pete, but you can also get a couple extra points just by going to the location and talking to them. Hey Raymond, how's it going? <laughs> Crisp, that's a great, uh, great. <laughs> Great uh, catchphrase. Look, he's talking about what we're talking about. Helping people with their requests will raise your level, but don't do it just for that. Do it for the loot. <laughs> so yeah, we got two points just for talking to Raymond. Now, let's say we wanted to be able to fulfill more requests from Raymond, to be able to, you know, level him up. 
If you have a request card, you can use that. So need anything is black because we fulfilled the three requests that he had to begin with. But I can use one request ticket to get three more opportunities to get the loot, as Raymond says, and level him up. Here's what he needs. Awesome. So we will get Raymond. We, Raymond, we will get you your Crucian. Crucian carp. <laughs> Don't dilly dally. And just by using that request ticket, we got a couple points. So I'm going to go ahead and use Pete. Get him his Crucian carp. Look, he's almost to level 12. I think we're going to make it. Get him a little sea star. There we go. Friendship level up. So. You can see that little heart goes up into my heart score. So every time a character's level goes up by one, you will get a couple little points. Um, and if you are just starting, if you're at level one, the distance between like level one and level two is pretty short. Like it's not a lot of points you need. Whereas the distance be between say level 10 and level 11 is more. And then the distance between like 20 and 21 is quite a bit more. I think at some point it does just sort of stay the same. Um, since I'm a high level, it does take quite a few points before I get from level 199 to level 200. Um, or like Molly, since she's at level 22, if we give her this dragonfly, her, her level is only gonna go up a tiny bit. It takes longer. Once they're higher levels, it takes longer um, to get them, get them higher. Another way to level the villagers up faster is by giving them treats. Here you go, Crisp, have a snack. So I can give bronze treats. That's just gonna give him three little points. Uh, I think silver gives 15 and gold gives, gold gives 25. Does silver give 15? Oh, silver only gives 10. But yeah, you can give him as many as you want. So let's, let's, let's boost Raymond's level. Let's get him up a little bit. <laughs> there you go. Boom, so he just went up from 12. So you can see our heart is going to pop up quite a bit more than it would have if he only popped up by one level. So every time your character hits a new level, you get 10 leaf tickets. <laughs> is Lolly stretching too? Is it cat stretching time right now? <laughs> I wish my character, you know what, they do now have um, a camera mode with like different, um, different poses, but is stretching a pose? I don't think it is. I feel like I need to join the cat exercise, the, the cat yoga session that's going on here, but I can only cry that I'm not a part of it. <laughs> oh, Lolly's getting tired. Lolly is Lolly gagging. Yes, so this little character who's following me around is a bonus that I get because I do the happy helper plan. So the happy helper plan is $3 a month and I do get 60 leaf tickets. Um, every month as part of that. I also get the little character that follows me around. But the Happy Helper plan actually, you can do a free trial for the first month and they will give you the 60 leaf tickets for your free first month and you get to keep them. Even if you like cancel the plan and decide you don't want it, that's a pretty nice way to get grab those extra 60 uh, free leaf tickets. And then if you wanna just give the Happy Helper plan a try, you'll have this little character following you around for a month. I really enjoy this game. I play it a little bit every day. Um, so I did not cancel my Happy Helper plan. I did stick with it. So our second way of getting leaf tickets is by completing the goals. You can see the goals tab with Isabella's, Isabelle's clipboard over here. So I have some crowns because I've completed some of these sets of goals. Every day you're gonna get some daily goals and unfortunately, you're never gonna see leaf tickets. You might get bells, you might get treats by completing these goals, but not leaf tickets. The stretch goals, however, so that's this first tab. This, you can get leaf tickets for a ton of these goals. Unfortunately, these ones don't repeat. It's like you complete this, and then it's done. But you can see many of these did get me leaf tickets. So chat with an animal while he or she is visiting your campsite. I got 30 leaf tickets. Or um, let's see what else. Befriend another player, 10 leaf tickets. One of the biggest uh, rewards is for linking your Nintendo account. You get 100 leaf tickets for linking your Nintendo account. And if you enjoy this game, that's something you're probably gonna wanna do even regardless of the leaf tickets because that will basically back up your data and make sure that you know if you get logged out of the game somehow you will not lose um, everything that you've crafted and everything that you've gained 
I actually got logged out somehow a couple weeks ago and I was really freaked out because I don't think I've logged out of this game in like a year or two years. So, you know, I, I logged back in using my Nintendo account and everything was still there. I was so relieved. So if you're new to the game, make sure you look at this list of goals and you go through and you complete them because you're gonna be able to rack up a ton of leaf tickets pretty darn quickly. Stretch goals don't repeat, but you do get some other goals that repeat. So here is a set of goals called Hey Manta Ray goals that um, you could complete to get a cookie. The cookies are one of the premium items in the game. They cost 50 leaf tickets to buy one. So here we'll go to the marketplace and see what cookies we have today. We've talked about cookies in the past. You do have two slots here on the shelf every day. Um, today we only have Timmy's fortune cookie and a clothing fortune cookie and those though aren't that exciting. Um, you'll sometimes get those cookies just for like completing requests for animals. But every so often up on that shelf you might see a special cookie, one that you would normally have to pay 50 leaf tickets. It's totally random. Like some weeks you might find three or four, some weeks you might not find any. Um, it does change, I think, in the afternoon. So definitely keep an eye on that shelf um, because that's a great way to get a special cookie without having to spend leaf tickets for it. But if, if a cookie is brand, brand new, so Zell's Aquarium cookie just came out, and another one that just came out and was brand new this summer is this uh, Rob adventure cookie his pirate cookie is brand new and those manta ray goals were actually to get a free rods adventure cookie so you will always have an opportunity to get one free cookie for any new cookie you can see this one francine's what is this called francine c cookie this actually came out last year and they just re-released it so it's available again for a short time so if it's a reissue you're not going to find goals that will get you a free cookie. But if it's brand, brand new, um, you will. And these manta ray goals, you can see we already completed them, but we did get a free Rod's Adventure cookie. And I bet very soon we will get a new set of goals. Usually they last like two or three days. And it's something like this where you have to catch a bunch of fish or catch a manta ray. Um, sometimes it's catching bugs. Um, but if you complete these goals, you will get the free cookie. And you can see when I page back through this, I actually did get six free leaf tickets. Um, were part of these goals. So make sure you keep an eye on those cookie goals. Our last two tabs here are the gyroid event, which is happening now, and the monthly event, which this month was called Gulliver's Seasides Day. So every month there is gonna be a special set of goals, just like this Gulliver set, and there's gonna be something big that you'll get at the end. This month, if we get there, we'll get Gulliver's statue. But along the way, you can see there are leaf tickets in these goal, uh, goal rewards. So let's see, how many have we gotten so far? We got three, uh, let's see, we got three on the first page, another three on the second page. We actually got a leaf ticket map, which we'll be getting to the maps in just a second. Here we got another three from the fourth page. So just from these monthly goals, if you complete all of them, you'll get 15 free leaf tickets, not even counting the map. The way you complete the monthly goals is by completing the weekly goals because throughout the month they have different events which usually last for about a week. So right now it's the gyroid event. Um, they also have a fishing event every month and a gardening event every month. So you complete those events in order to get those monthly goals. But actually there's almost always a set of, of goals just for the weekly events. And you can see for the gyroid goals here, we can also get some leaf tickets. Let's see how many. I think 15, yeah, so we'll get 15 leaf tickets if we go around and collect the gyroids and, and craft the gyroid items, which I think this month's gyroid items are so, so cute. Where are they? Yeah, they're on the limited time tab. Oh, we have enough gyroids to craft a sherbet cone holder so we could craft one of these. I love these. They're just adorable for this cool scoop gyroid event. You just craft with bells and gyroids. So the gyroids, you just walk around the different areas of the map and you'll find them lying around on the ground. Oh, there's one. I love how it looks like an ice cream cone with like the scoops on his head. That is so cute. So yeah, you do not need to spend leaf tickets to craft most of the um, ice cream gyroid event. You just have to go around Let's see, we found all the ones here, so we could go to the seaside. We'll probably find some more at the seaside. The game pretty continually re refreshes, so like kind of every time you log on, you'll probably find maybe five to 10 little gyroids on each uh, map location. So let's see, how many, whoa! Okay, hold on, we have to catch this shark. That's one of the biggest 
fish I've ever seen in this ocean. Come on. Wow! That thing is huge. Oh my goodness. Let's see. So, Wolf, was there only one gyro right here? Oh no, I see two more over there. Yeah, it looks like we have five gyros that we can collect here at the seaside. Under our crafting tab, you can see we'll need to collect 50 gyroids in order to create craft the table, the carts. We're gonna have to get 140 gyroids. Now, every time they do a gyroid event, they do a couple items, usually the most desirable items, of course, that you can sadly only get with leaf tickets. Now, we can actually preview. This preview button means that we can just look at the item, like without buying it, we can see what it looks like on our character. So yeah, you can craft one of those ice cream cones just to display like on a table at your camp. But if you wanna get one to hold in your hand, you're gonna have to spend leaf tickets. These are pretty cute. Ah, but is it worth 120 leaf tickets? There might be something else that I wanna spend the 120 leaf tickets on. This is cute too, but see, I don't think I would spend my leaf tickets on that. Let's be honest, I usually spend my leaf tickets on clothing. Here, while we're in the preview section, we can preview Ah, the sailor dresses are so cute and you could craft yourself a hat, but of course, this is the cutest stuff. See, this is the stuff I would save my leaf tickets for. I'm, I think I'm gonna try to resist the sailor, the sailor um, items. They also often put out these wallpaper and flooring collections that, again, that you can only get for leaf tickets. Ah, there's a sunset, a seaside sunset window that is really cute, but we're going to resist. Luckily, I don't have enough leaf tickets at the moment <laughs> for any of that. Oh yeah, the Seaside Stay series, the campsite terrains are another thing that you have to have leaf tickets for. So see, that's why you're saving up your leaf tickets and you have to be selective. Pocket camp is best played in like a laid back way. You know, you're not gonna get every item and that's okay. In fact, if you like don't complete an event, you know, if, you, if we don't collect all the gyroids and we don't get the ice cream cart, that's actually okay because Animal Crossing does this thing called reissue. So you can see it's a tab on the crafting area and all of these items that you see are from last summer. So next summer, I'm sure, in fact, maybe even sooner than next summer, they will give us a chance to craft those ice cream cart items. So if you ever like miss something, or you can see I didn't craft, I didn't manage to collect all the items from the Underwater World series, but I have some time now to get some reissue uh, tickets, to get some reissue tokens and to craft them. So you definitely can't have too acquisitive of an attitude in, in Pocket Camp. Like you will get cute items. Like you don't need to worry about it if you don't get every item or if you you know aren't able to finish everything. I feel like apps like Pocket Camp, like they're always kind of trying to get you to spend more time than you really should on them. And it's a pity that they're built that way. I wish, I wish they weren't built that way, but it's like you kind of need to fortify your own mind and say, okay, look, I know how much time I have to spend on this app today. I'm gonna log on for like 15 minutes or so. I'm gonna catch catch an ocean, catch a giant crazy shark that I find in the water or, or collect some gyroids. But once I've hit my time limit, I'm gonna log off. I'm gonna go and get the things that I need to get done, done. You definitely wanna be in control of the game. Don't let the game be in control of you. So yeah, we're kind of running through all these methods today, but like you don't need to do all these methods in one fell swoop. All right, we're on to method number three. Now I mentioned reissue tokens and reissue tokens are something that you'll usually collect through Blather's treasure truck. You can see in my inventory, I have a couple maps that by completing these maps, I will collect reissue materials. I also have a couple of maps that will get me leaf tickets and we mentioned one of these maps we got by completing the goals another main way that you will get these maps is by sending Gulliver out to sea so Gulliver's ship is right down here so we have three islands I actually do have a rare island right now now the rare islands have oh no I don't want to spend see they tried to trick me into spending five leaf tickets to get that ship back sooner that's fine I don't need the ship back right now. I can wait another hour and a half. So if we look at the um, souvenirs from this island, I've already gotten a whole bunch of them. They were almost all maps and they were character maps. It's hard to get these islands. They don't pop up all the time. Um, they will pop up eventually, but there's basically a huge pool of different islands that you can get that like you'll be able to send Gulliver to. You're 
offered a selection of three different islands at a time. I think it's every three days or so, you can refresh the islands and get a brand new set of three. I'm not gonna refresh it right now because I still have that. I still have Gulliver out of getting me, getting me a map. Once I've sent Gulliver out, let's see, 10 times, I'll have gotten everything on the list and that's when I'll get the completion bonus, the leaf ticket map, and that will get me 10 leaf tickets. You can see that one of the 10 souvenirs was another leaf ticket map. So to complete the leaf ticket maps and get the leaf tickets, every map is kind of like a little board game and you need to roll the dice and send uh, send blathers on his way to collect all the items for you leaf tickets are of course very desirable so you do have to spend bells in order to roll your way through the map here you can see we need to spend 50,000 bells in order to get um, get through the map and you can auto track this makes it a lot faster so we're just gonna use our bells and that just basically, then you don't have to click and roll every single time. The game will just click and roll for you. And here we got our 30 leaf tickets. We did have to spend 350,000 bells. Luckily I had plenty in my inventory. I'm thinking I might do a separate video on how to get bells. So yes, if you're interested in that, make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned. Bells are probably the second most desirable uh, currency right behind leaf tickets. As you can see, you can get uh, bell maps so we can replenish the bells we just lost from um, the leaf ticket map with a bell map. See, look, we could use five leaf tickets to just speed through the map, but you don't need to use five leaf tickets. We're just gonna use our friend power. Friend powder, you get friend powder, as you might guess, by helping your friends. One of the fastest ways to get friend power to get friend power. To get friend powder is during the gardening events. Um, when you collect the little creatures, you share them with your friends and then you can get quite a bit of friend powder at once. Whenever you get a leaf ticket map, make sure you take advantage of that to get some free leaf tickets. And then our fourth method for getting leaf tickets for free without using real money is the happy homeroom classes. So the happy homeroom is one of your spots on the map and as you can see we have three little pink tickets up in the corner. So you can basically do three classes a day for free. After that you have to pay leaf tickets. So basically just do the three a day and then wait for the next day and do three more. There are two different types of happy homeroom classes. You can see there are event classes so these are kind of related to this is the gyroid event. So after we've crafted the items from the gyroid event, we can take these classes and we'll get different rewards and level up our happy homeroom level. Right now, I'm at master rank 47 and I just need six more medals to get to the next rank. So here, I'll go back to the normal classes. There are a ton of normal classes. The normal classes are kind of like the stretch goals where once you finish them, you're done. You can see I've cleared a whole bunch of the past courses, but there's this brand new one that we haven't cleared yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and use one of my, my three daily vouchers to, to complete this. Well, this feels very sort of haunted mansion-y. Very Rococo, Rococo? How do you pronounce that? I should probably know how to pronounce that. Look at that dollhouse. That's one of my favorite items, that dollhouse. Love it. So yeah, basically to, to get all of the medals, you want to use the items that they suggest and then you get the flawless score. And if you don't have all the items they suggest, use the like most rare, most special item that they offer you. So like if you have an item from a cookie or an item that like, you unlocked from a character, because once the characters reach level 15, um, you'll unlock their sort of special item. Little model bus, I love that yellow car with the, um, with the surfboard, I have that, I had that at my, uh, at my camp for a while. Ooh, a red sports car, this is a nice little, nice little car dealership here. I love it. Yeah, so luckily I had all of the items they were looking for for that one. And I'm sure we will get three medals. Perfect score. I love how, I love their little happiness. I love the like aura of happiness that Animal Crossing characters project. It's just so great. Wouldn't it be hilarious if real life was like that? Like when you were happy, you just like projected flowers and stars. <laughs> awesome. We ranked up Master Rank 48. Look at this. What are we getting? 10 free leave tickets. Congrats, keep aiming upwards. We also got a whole bunch of bells. Sweet. So yeah, I think we can take a look back through our past ranks. 
Here we go. So looking forward, oh, is 51 the max rank? If we go back down, you can see at rank 45, I got 10 leaf tickets at rank 41. As you level up, it's usually like every three or four levels that you hit, you're gonna get a 10 leaf ticket goal. So definitely make sure you use your little three vouchers a day um, and get your medals and level up because every so often, you're gonna get free leaf tickets, which is pretty fab. You know what, I feel like we're so close to level 200 that like we should try to get it. So what we're gonna do, I think I'm gonna call, I'm gonna use my phone a friend, like uh, on who wants to be a millionaire. So we're gonna go to our contact list of characters and let's call one of the new ones. You know what, let's call Penchetti. We haven't even really met her yet since she's only level one. Penchetti, I wanna see you. Let's have a beach day. <laughs> I can actually be a bit piggy. Awesome. So whenever you use a calling card, as you can see, you'll get some points to level the character up, but you'll also be able to complete three requests for them. So here we can go and use Pete to see what Panchetti's requests were. She wants a shell. Panchetti, that's a little lazy. You are literally at the beach. You could go and pick one up yourself. <laughs> she wants a pear. We'll give her some pears. But to level up Panchetti even faster, we know we can give her some treats. So let me remind myself, what type is Panchetti? What kind of treat does she want? Okay, she's elegant. And her birthday is November 14th. I love how they like specify their birthdays. It's kind of fantastic. Okay, Suey. Wow, that's her catchphrase. Okay, I have some snacks for you. Which is the elegant snack? I can rem never remember which is which. Is it cheesecake? No, that's modern. Oh, here we go. It's these tarts. Very elegant and tasty. Okay, I'm going to give Panchetti a ton of tarts because I want us to get to level 200. We're gonna get there with Panchetti. Wow, should I clear myself out? Should we give her 20 at once? Here, let's give her 22. I like that. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. Is this gonna be, I'm wondering if this is gonna be enough to get us to level 200. And honestly, I don't know what level to get Panchetti. This is actually your fave, I knew it. 198 points, level 13, and how, how far is this gonna push us up, Canary Shirt? I'm sure the math is out there online of like exactly how many points it is, but I can never remember. Yes, she just leveled up 11 points, and, oh, not quite there, okay, you know what, Panchetti? You're getting even more treats. I hope you wanted some. Here we go, Panchetti. Oh, I can't guess exactly how many it's gonna be, so I'm just gonna give her a whole bunch. 500, I don't think I've ever given a character that many treats at <laughs> one time before. I got her picture at level 20. You get each character's picture. Look at how fabulous that is. I love her pose. So cute. Look at that, we made it! Level 200. Leveling up, and there there were our 10, 10 leaf tickets. So, so yes, look at that. Leaf ticket methods, hitting the level 200 club. Exciting times on Pocket Camp. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you haven't yet, you can check out my other Pocket Camp tips videos. I wish you good luck and many leaf tickets. I hope you have a magical day, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye guys.